management, the faculty, both teaching and non-teaching, the parents, PTA members. There were times in our younger days, education means that is a concern of the parents and the teachers. Our parents used to leave us at school or send, send us to the school with our bags and a tiffin and we used to go to school and our parents offered ourselves to, to the teachers to give us the academic knowledge, to teach us the alphabets, A, B, C, D or A, A, E, E. And we used to bring back those bags and tiffin back and next we used to take those bags and tiffins next day. But today's education system is completely changed. There are so many people involved in the education because it is a whole round formation of the students is the education of today. There are parents and therefore PTA, PTA association. There are uh, staff members, faculty, there are management. There are also so many other people who are connected with the education of today. Maybe the uh, owners of, and drivers of the vehicles who are bringing our students to schools and back home and many other persons involved in the whole round formation of our students. And because of that, so many activities are conducted in our institutions. And we already saw in the PowerPoint presentation by the principal, there are so many activities throughout the academic year that those who are going on during the year. So I congratulate the principal and the management we have a very, very able correspondent in the person of Reverend Father, very Reverend Father Matthew Vaz, because he has a bund of knowledge and experience in different uh, institutions, such as uh, the Udupi Parish institutions and other institutions. And also we have the energetic principle in the person of Reverend Father uh, Sunil and Along with him, the teamwork of all the staff members, both teaching and non-teaching, made this institution as one of the esteemed institutions, as already mentioned by our, another chief guest, Mr. Sheetal, already and he congratulated uh, for the institution. And on my behalf also, I congratulate for the development. Within seven years, having a strength of 665 students in an institution like this, because there are so many other institutions in the vicinity, still in the, within seven years, this institution has made a name, as we already heard, not only in the taluk level, but also in the district itself, St. Mary Centre School has made a name. I congratulate all those who are behind the development and the prestige that this school has achieved. I know many of you parents are here. You have already witnessed a few programs, cultural programs from your children and also many more to stage on the dais. So I don't want to prolong more, but I wish all the best for this evening's program. Those students still to come on the stage and perform their uh, cultural talents. I mean, this school, St. Mary's Center School, reaches greater heights and let a value-based education be imparted to the students of this vicinity. And may Almighty God bless all, our, all the students here, their parents, the management, and all those who are working for the betterment of this institution. I wish all of them, and I thank for this occasion, for giving me an opportunity uh, to be the chief guest here and address you these few words. Thank you. Wish you all the best. It's time to announce the Best House Award. I request the house leaders to come and receive the prizes. May I request the president of today's function, Very Reverend Father Matthew Vaz, to honor our students. The fourth place is backed by Model House. Third place by Gentle House. Second place by Moral House.
and the first place goes to Noble House. Please give them applause. Thank you, Father, for honoring our students. Thank you, Rumiya Miss, for your generosity. Behind every month. Okay. Father, kindly be seated. Behind every man's success, there is a woman, goes the old saying. Likewise, for the success and upkeep of every institution, there are persons who work tirelessly and meticulously behind the scene for the smooth running of it. Now we have such a person who contributed to the well-being of our school. Now we call upon Mr. Ashit to take over the further proceedings. I request Miss Melinda to come and occupy the place of honor which is on the days. A very good evening to all. We are happy because we are celebrating our school's 7th annual day. On the other hand, it's a sad evening for us because we have to say goodbye to our wonderful co-worker, Miss Melinda. She has worked with us in the school office for four years. She has always been extremely professional, hardworking, punctual at the office. She has a brilliant mind and always a creative on her work. She has not only been a fantastic colleague, she has also been a true friend. She was always full of energy and happy to see everyone on each day. She's a great loss to our school, but we were lucky to have the opportunity to work with her. We all wish you the very best in the future. We wish you a happy married life in advance. We will miss you, but this is not a good bite as we know you will keep in touch with us and we will see you sooner than later. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for everything you have given to the school. May God bless you and may all your dreams come true. Thank you, Melinda. All the we, best. We request Reverend Father Sunil Pravin Pinto, our principal, to honor Miss Melinda. And the honorable dignitaries are joining their hands to honor Melinda. Shall by our correspondent, very reverend father, Matthew Was. Let the claps raise the heaven. Sub-inspector of police will give the memento. Mr. Shivan and Father Sunil Pinto will give the fruits basket mrs shaila sequera will give the bouquet of flower and now the honorable dignitaries will stay for a snap <laughs> 